We begin today with the four main characters swooning over their Valentine's Day plan. They all have them besides Penny who is seen hating. Dijanae tells her to look for a man instead of looking at what she got going on. Penny tries acting like being single makes her more mature than everybody instead of just alone. As they approach the school, Sticky runs up and points out the giant graffiti on the side of the school that says, Happy Valentine's Day, Penny proud. Penny is getting court-martialed and Admiral Ashy voice over here is forcing the kids to do up. He tries to call Sticky Gadget Boy, and Sticky lets Billy Badass know that he keeps that gadget on him. Principal Parched even extorts La Cienega. He then for some reason suspends all the friends, which makes zero sense because they didn't even have their name on the wall. He's trying to speed run getting fired and the school district sued. The group of suspended students go and hang out at a bus stop. They see another I Love Penny tag. Whoever this guy is seems unstable. Sticky hacks the automated caller that would tell their parents of their punishment and change is the message. They're stressed out because they can't just sit at the bus stop all day. DJ's mom rises. They decide to track down the tagger to clear their name. They all suggest their favorite detectives. Sticky suggests Shaft. It's his duty to please that Sticky! I'm talking about Chef. Did Orlando Brown just go rogue in the studio? Penny decides they're all gonna stake the bus yard out tonight. Everyone disagrees and they talk about how wild it is for 14 year olds to go to a bus yard at night. She says, y'all not my real friends, I'll do it myself. Oscar and Trudy are at home and Trudy hired um, Lurch over here to cook them dinner tonight. Now Oscar has to cancel his dinner reservation. He goes to make the cancellation and he gets caught in his obvious bluff because someone calls him at that exact second. He answers and it's the automatic system telling them that Penny won an award. When they ask her, she says it's an award for being popular. They buy all the wolf tickets. They need her to watch the kids tonight. Penny goes upstairs to put the kids to sleep. She sings them a good night song and it hits so good that she knocks herself out. Later on, she abandons her infant siblings to go to the bus yard. Penny's friends jump scare her, so she's not all alone. They do their best hardly sisters impression, so it's going eh. They either hear someone with a lisp saying sarsaparilla or it's spray paint. They run down on the vandal and it's Drake's inspiration, Johnny McBride. He's a paraplegic. Penny snatches his walking stick out of his hand, so Penny doesn't support the handy capable. At that moment, a light flashes on him. It's a cop that was called to stop any further hate crimes from occurring. After Penny arrives from bookings, her parents let her know that she's grounded. Penny tries to explain what really happened and they aren't trying to hear it. Even with her new award, she's up to her old behavior. She almost snitches on herself, but she can't talk about the award, so she pleads the fifth and goes upstairs. Smart kid. If Oscar and Trudy's day wasn't already ruined, they walk in on Sugar Mama and uh, Pedro Infante eating their dinner. The chef then shakes Oscar down for payment, even though he didn't eat a morsel. Trudy got the nerve to ask her where her gift is now, which is extra disrespectful because the Dinner was supposed to be her gift. Oscar gives her a pass to a ski resort. But Trudy says they can't leave the kids, so they gotta bring Sugar Mama along so she can watch them. Everybody's going on vacation. E everyone but Penny. Oscar also gotta pay for these accommodations. Oscar don't even have a job. Trudy's a whole ass veterinarian. Tyrant Trapezoid is exonerating the group of children he callously suspended. Everyone's wondering why they got suspended, but Johnny just needs to apologize to him. Dijanae wants reparations. 40 acres and a mule or something, don't we all? Johnny comes in and says, I'm sorry, Penny. Good enough for the Dean of Dry Voices. Penny runs up on Johnny in the hall looking for an explanation. Did she not read paintings? Johnny says she's the sugar honey iced tea and asks if she'd be his queen. Penny is back home telling her family about how a boy likes her. Trudy reminds her about how her dad feels about boyfriends. Oscar comes running out the bathroom at the mention and says they better be talking about one of Trudy's. They some freaks. They get a knock on the bell and Penny says that's him. Oscar goes out and sees the circular transportation and lets that issue roll past him. Penny is on um, Uvu with her homegirls and La Cienega is being rude, talking about the bottom of his forces are wider than Tyrese's teeth. Zoe doesn't think that it's funny and that's because it's not funny to make someone for being in a wheelchair. Arm wrestle one of them dudes then try to act like they ain't real people. Penny is sick of Johnny's constant barrage of communication. Some would say harassment. She's also sick of this ignorance so she logs off to go hang out with J-Dog. Johnny is downstairs 
is taking advantage of Oscar's overcompensation. Shikamama doesn't like him, not because of the wheelchair, because of the fact he's a little asshole. Trudy says they need to make him feel like everyone else. Shikamama is more than handy capable of kicking his ass out like everyone else. Johnny overhears that they're going skiing and forces his way onto the trip, so at least Penny is invited now. They're on the hill and Johnny is still acting like a dickhead. He's finding any way to be annoying, which dog, you wife the girl you were willing to commit crimes to get just to self-destruct and act like a schmuck to everybody? Turns out he's grown too accustomed to his lifestyle of rolling because he rolls his ass down the slopes. He blames Penny and when she tries to help his stupid ass up, he tells her that he won't say thank you. What? Parents come and check on them and Penny is fronting about having fun. Johnny says this kid shit is lame and why don't we hit the real slopes? He even challenges Oscar to a race. Oscar tells him to take it one step at a time and Johnny tells him he could go down on his hands and dog walk him. Everyone tells Oscar to grow up and stop trying to challenge a 13 year old that's never seen snow before. Johnny starts yelling at Penny and she respects herself too much so she leaves his ass tumbled over and dips with sugar mama. It's time for Oscar and Johnny's race. Oscar starts off strong but Johnny overtakes him for first. Oscar must weed through the evergreens and ends up crashing so hard into a tree that he knocks the tree over. That's how you explode and perish on impact. It's a cartoon, so he's fine. He's in a wheelchair now. Sugar Mama comes in talking about how she can't stand Johnny. Penny, seeing her father in a wheelchair, finally has true compassion for those receiving ADA benefits. She treats Johnny as an equal and tells him how much of a disgusting human being he is. Johnny tries the good old wheelchair card, but Penny he says, nah, it's because you dress like you cosplaying as Shaggy from Scooby-Doo if he never smoked weed. Oh, wish he was a 60s head ass. Being in a wheelchair doesn't mean shit sweet. Play with a new pair of gloves, but never play with Penny. She tells him to roll on out. Her parents are proud because they didn't know she could play the dozens. 